Hi there, welcome to the Spirit of Wisdom and Revelation channel. This is just a proceeding forward to the um, coming um, audio readings that I will be doing of a book called The Antichrist in Man by Joseph Salmon, written in 1647. In my devotion that I did, um, The Futility of Man, I spoke about this um, audios that I will be doing. And the focus of the this particular audio is to bring our attention to the the spirit of Antichrist um, amplified and shown through the spirit of Jezebel, that Jezebel that rides on the beast. And what the purpose of the book is as well is to bring our attention to the micro instead of the macro. The macro would be the eschatological view, the idea of everybody uh, that everybody has with regards to who is Jezebel, taking that into consideration and just placing it to one side and say, let's focus on what does this, how does this personally apply to my own heart? You know, we have received from God a two-edged sword, which means that sword has, has is sharp on both sides, meaning you first cut into your own heart before you use the sword to judge others. You first apply the word of God to your own heart. The same goes for the spirit of Jezebel. Everybody wants to say this person has a Jezebel spirit and that person has a Jezebel spirit. But when you see it in the context of the flesh and um, wisdom and understanding and revelations of man that man depends upon and that man depends on himself and exalts himself within the flesh, specifically with regards to spiritual matters, then we have to take that sword and cut into our own hearts first and at least allow the, the, the high priest to cut into our hearts because we are living sacrifices. We have to allow him to show us the sinfulness of sin, so to speak, that we may see the gravity of of the Antichrist in man. And it also, it seems almost too far-fetched to, to say these words, you know. But when you listen to these re audio readings, you will understand the revelation given in it to see it on a micro level and how we need to address it in ourselves first. So it's a very important message, especially when we take into consideration that the time that we are going in is going to... Um, be with so much deception that is linked to the spirit of Jezebel. And the deception will happen within the church. The world is already deceived. They will be an easy target. But the deception that the enemy is focused on will be within the church to deceive those who are lukewarm, those who do not have an understanding of the issues of their heart that they need to deal with. I cannot emphasize enough how discernment is an issue of the heart. Whatever you have not dealt with will be through a, 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 will be a filter through which you discern. You may have great understanding of the Word of God and you may be able to apply it to different areas, but it will be limited and filtered through whatever issues of the heart you have not dealt with. This is why the Lord God says that we are to guard our heart with all diligence because out of it flows the issues of life, which includes our ability to discern. So it's important that we listen um, to these teachings. I've listened to it, uh, um, to these audio messages, obviously by reading it, listening to it. But I've, I've read it uh, a few years ago and I've uh, read it again for myself. And I was deeply convicted and really um, just allowed the spirit to bring uh, a, a spirit of con uh, repentance and, and being contrite before him. As I lay before him, say, Lord, deal with my heart. So I pray that you will prayerfully listen to these audio messages. They range between 10 and 20 minutes, so they're not very long. Um, you don't have to listen it um, at it all at once, um, but I pray that you will listen to it right through to the end. Um, it's truly a great revelation of seeing it in the context of the micro within our own hearts. So I pray that it will bless you, but more than that, I pray that it will convict you and that it will draw you closer to Him, who alone is able 
to redeem us and sanctify us and set us apart unto him in this time that we are in. Bless you.